Okay guys, um, check this out. Everybody's like, everybody in my neighborhood is like clapping for the the healthcare workers. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting to see. Currently at Abun's garage. Uh, as you can see, getting Hidayah serviced. Business as usual in Abun's garage. Hello? Ah. Virus macam mana? Dari China ni. Ah. Wuhan virus. Ah. Apa lu punya ni pendapat? <laughs> China. Ah. China, Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> Business tak ada turun lah? Turun lah. Turun lah? Tak ada turun. Tak payah, tak payah datang lah? Korang sikit lah Habis lu rasa bila bila dia habis? Susah cakap lah sekarang ha. Orang putih punya tempat lain ha. Maknya sana Sekarang sana maknya susah ha, Tu lah habis Malaysia pun tutup lah Tutup Nanti Singapura pun tutup lah ha, Lu fikir Singapura tutup lah? Ya pelan pelan Sekarang banyak tutup lah Tu uh, orang mau minum lah Tak boleh Semua ini, dah tutup Ini malam start Haa Nanti ya sekolah tutup dan mestinya pelat. Ya satu kat satu. satu Kindergarten dah tutup ah. Ya. Tu ya, PAP ya. punya dah tutup apa? Ya bukan satu kali. Ya sikit-sikit-sikit macam. Ah. Okay guys, uh, while editing this video, Abun has pretty much predicted uh, almost everything that's happened in the circuit breaker partial lockdown of the country. But what he said next really blew my mind away. Semua negeri ya satu kali meh ya. Enggak apa-apa lah. Itu yang paling teruk Itali ya, kena Italy, banyak maki ya. USA dah. Spen, spen banyak. Ha. Itali ya, 8 persen lebih ya. Ha, itulah. Gila. Tapi China tak susah cakap lah. China banyak bohongnya. China banyak bohong punya. Lu <laughs> <laughs> pun tahu lah. Ha? Ada China sini kerja meh. Ha, sana cakap. Oh, China ada. kerja sini cakap dia bohong lah. Semak cakap kolang lah. Kolang hidup kolang lah. <laughs> <laughs> US 1000 people already. Shall ah. What you what you think ah? Can finish or not? Cannot ah. Depend how they control ah. Hey guys, uh, look at Novina Square right now. I'm with Shafiq, my colleague. Yeah, hi. So look at Novina Square right now. It's like now it's lunch time, by the way, yeah. And it's like there's less people walking around right now. And uh, this is very weird. Uh. What do you think? Very very weird. Today the government has started on the one meter policy. Ah, uh, which is uh, the so, social spacing. Yes. Yeah, social distancing. So I see you later. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we have to keep away. We have to keep apart also. <laughs> So look at this guys, they're really emphasizing on the social spacing whereby even the lettering, the seats below has to be spaced out. I don't know about you but usually it's packed right over here. It's yeah, usually packed. packed. But then uh, today uh, the, the, crowd, uh, the crowd has thinned out. You know? Look at the queue. Uh, they're standing one meter away. Four meters one away. Meter away. The entrances to all the malls, there's checkpoints in it. So they're really taking the social distancing thing very seriously. All of the entrance and exits of the malls are being monitored right now. We have to queue to actually exit. It's very inconvenient. Siang we kau kat situ. I scan QR code. Ah, no ni. I'll do it for you. Okay, thank you. But I don't know about you, but it's something they don't see every day. Yeah, yeah. You look at the crowd. Not yeah, much crowd. Yeah, not much crowd. As you can see, there is no any pop up booth very close. Mm. Yesterday was very packed with pop up booth, mm. and today nothing. Yeah, it's very close. efficient, very fast. So the malls have put up this uh, this barricades right here, so that the traffic goes along smoothly. I think they don't want people to congregate, lah, basically. Uh, you will get a fine uh, if you refuse to comply to the to the <laughs> if you refuse to comply to the social distancing. Think one meter, one meter. Me and Shafiq are headed towards some mosque now to see the situation over there. Yes. How it is. And uh, from what I know, from what we know, the government has uh, closed all the mosques 
indefinitely yeah. so we're just gonna see the outside of the mosque Today is actually a Friday and for us Muslims every Friday there is a Friday prayers where mandatory Friday prayers where all of the Muslims are supposed to go to the mosque to have their Jemaah prayers lah. and to see the mosque uh, still closed due to the COVID-19 situation is uh, I don't know about you but it's very heartbreaking for me lah. It is very sad to look at the situation right now for the third Friday we got no one in the mosque all over Singapore, not just in Singapore, maybe Malaysia, Indonesia, even the the Holy Mosque in Makkah and Madinah also closed for Jamaah prayers. Very sad. So let's fight this virus together as one. Singapore United. SG United. No, sorry, SG United. Yes, bye bye. Iba. Aku baru nak nangis. Abi kau dah buat tujuh. So uh, house business. You see, very bad. Lah. That's why we come here to kill. You Filipino? Uh, oh, I'm Singaporean. I'm Malay. Yeah. You Malay? I salam pagi to you. Oh, thank you, sir. Eh, so I'm doing coffee. Oh, so I'm uh, belum lagi. Mau buat kerja lah. Then how many passenger now? Only one day. How Last many? Last time, ah, uh, uh. no one uh, passenger. Last time, ah, uh, mm. by five o'clock I can go back here. Uh. Now until nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, ah, uh, to meet uh. your rental, is it? Yeah. Only rental, not even earning. No, no. Nine o'clock, only Saturday, Sunday, only rental ni. Oh. Don't earn the money, tak boleh. Saturday, Sunday, because no peak hour. Then yeah. some more, a lot of people not working. Monday to Friday, because people go working, still got chance. Mm. Then until nine o'clock, yeah, then you got some, some money. Yeah, correct. No, not so a lot. Mm. Twenty dollar, you can get uh, thirty dollar happy. Mm. But morning until at night, you know how many hours? Mm. Thirteen, fourteen hours. Saturday, Sunday. No. Daily. No, daily. Daily, every day. Ah, Tak boleh tahan tau. Kaki lembek. Kau tak lepas orang cakap ni. Ah. Lu tak lepas. Bini saya tanya orang lain. Setiap hari ni macam. Lu duduk nanti lah. Pantas sakit tu. Too many hours inside lah. Because you know business. You know choice. You need to. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So mostly you drive around. Atau lu tunggu kat taxi stand ke apa? Tak lah. Tak boleh. Tak taxi boleh. Pun, nanti lah. Ya, Mantar tu. On the way arah. Apek. No net. Lepas sini. At airport also, you tak pergi lah Airport tak, tak, tak pergi no year uh. You wait for 3-4 hours, tak ada orang Tak ada orang Because why? US tak You never see a paper The yesterday, the minister go and take picture All the plane park and the Tamek uh. Correct, correct No, so we cannot go overseas Yeah, no, cannot, I know Why you send no? Open lah Temporary, uh. temporary, see how lah hmm. Our business very bad, see dia Thank you, huh? Okay, okay, take care. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm currently yeah. with uh, my friend Shafiq and... Wingkok. Wingkok. Wingkok, uh, and they're distributing masks here at Sembawang Zone HRC. Eh. Thanks to them, uh, I can get so close. Uh. <laughs> if I can, I can, I, can, I, can, I cannot come so close. Uh. Yeah, okay. Social distancing. So, uh, don't mind me asking, how the distribution so far? Yeah, it's, uh, I think they're very overwhelmed. I think uh, every resident really... But uh, until this point, we really distribute around 3,000 masks. 3,000 yeah. really? Yeah. 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 So, so, so really that we are quite, I mean that we are doing non-stop uh, distributing since uh, 9.30 today. Non-stop? So yeah, the crowd is coming in? Yeah. And the crowd is still coming in. So what do they have to do to get the masks? Uh, they still need to use their IC, work permit, any like, student pass, as long as they are proved that they are residents here. Oh, so they must live here? They yeah. must actually live yeah. here? Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. And uh, live at Sembawang area. Oh. Yeah, the entire GRC we are from them. So how long is the wait if I were to queue? Uh, if I were to queue? Uh, queue, roughly, I think just now we saw is around mostly, I think, 15 minutes the longest. 15 minutes, yeah. not too bad lah. So this mask is the reusable mask lah. So basically, this is for adult uh. and this is uh, for kids. For oh, everybody, we get two masks? No, one for individual, each individual. This mask is not, I mean, in every zone, maybe they have a different type. Oh. So because it's, uh, we get from different vendors, yeah. so sometimes you, you may see a different type of, of uh, mask distributed. Yeah. 
but it's from it's a reusable mask. Oh, mm, it's so. a different brand now. Yeah, it's different brand only. Because I don't live here, I'm not allowed to collect any masks from here. But interesting to see that what is being done right now, the initiative by the Singapore government, government to actually distribute reusable masks to everybody, to every Singaporean household here. All the residents here are observing the social distancing thing. So everybody's like standing like one meter apart from each other. So before coming inside the restricted area, so called, everybody has to take that temperature lah, basically. Thank you Shafiq for yes. showing me. Uh. Thank God you're an RC member. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if not, uh, I cannot get this kind of exclusive uh, yeah. footage. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, our residents here from, from around the zone, they are here to collect masks. Like what our chairman said, they waited for the most, I think about 15 minutes. Yeah. So they have to line up. They have to take temperature and then they can join the queue behind here. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Eh, I forget. Oh, take care. I forget. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Okay, bye -bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently outside a shopping mall right now trying to get uh, the delivery riders on their opinions uh, and their thoughts on how the coronavirus has affected their livelihoods like, basically. Affect, affected a lot. Uh, I think a lot. Eh? A lot. Because uh, many people become jobless. Uh, so they. Mm plan to join Grab and yeah, many of them really join uh, so, yeah. oh, so for you less order now? Lah. For me less order because more people join, more orders distributed to the people mm -hmm. working. Yeah. Okay, so far food panda is okay, lah, better. Lah. The order is good back to back compared to Grab food but the tedious part is the shift. Lah. We need to book shift. That's the very hard part. Lah. But so far the order keep on non-stop lah, compared to Grab. Wow, so I think people order more food panda than grab yeah, la. <laughs> food, food panda than grab la. that's why some of the food pan, grab food and delivery run to food panda mm. only the tedious part is only the shift that we need to book uh, it's been bad mm, yeah and the order seems low need to wait it for so long just to get one order kind of waste my time yeah but still need to go on la. <laughs> so how long you think this uh, COVID-19 will last? How long you think uh, it will finish? We may not know la, how long. La. We just pray hard la, to make the COVID-19 stop. La. So mm. that the, all the business will go run smoothly. La. So I'm actually about to meet a friend who has his own business and uh, he's doing freelance work. And I want to talk about how the COVID-19 situation has affected him. Dude, I didn't know you have an office. Hi, man. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm with uh, Ephraim. He's actually a business owner and a freelancer. Eh? Yeah. So, how has uh, the COVID-19 situation actually affected you and your business? As freelancer, because I'm in the uh, film industry, of course, some project has been postponed and then some projects has been cancelled. Mm. This is in line with their... their, their their own protocol uh, which is to uh, stop all the external vendors because some we are doing is school projects and all so school project means they have to follow the guidelines uh, so mm. they reduce the students interaction with vendors uh, like us external vendors yeah. and as well as um, business owner as because I'm in a trading company mm -hmm. so and then Singapore in Singapore we heavily um, rely on, on external external source la. Hmm. so of course all my products and all is from overseas when this thing happened the flow is uh, interrupted la, of course and hmm. then um, sometimes we uh, have uh, lack of products and then hmm. we go out of stock quite quickly and things like that so it will affect our regular operations la. we have by regular operations means we hmm. we we have goods constantly coming in on time and, and whatsoever, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. And of course, as this thing happened, um, it will have an um, effect in the economy. So people will tend to be more prudent with their spending. Mm. So as my product and all is quite a, a one thing. So it's not, it's not like a neat thing. It's quite mm. an, I would say like luxury, Lux uh, uh, kind of luxury item mm. As a business owner, as a freelancer, you qualify, actually qualify for the government's stimulus package. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So, do you think that's enough for you? I think for me, um, at this point of time, I might not need that funding. Uh, I mean, mm. uh, uh, I'm, 
I'm still, I wouldn't say very well to do, but enough on my plate and I think the funds should be given to those more in need. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure uh, there are more, a lot more people that needed more than me. But if you ask me whether it's enough or not, I think uh, there's only this much that the government can do because mm. it's a whole country and then we're talking about millions of population. They can't just do nothing and let us, you know, uh, suffer, la. I mean, not suffer, but uh, this, this uh, stimulus package is uh, useful. La. I mean, it helps the, the freelancer and the SCP to, mm. to tie down, tie, tie over this, this very difficult period. Okay guys, so I uh, wrapped up my shooting. Um, today is the final day before the soft lockdown. The so-called circuit breaker is happening in Singapore. And tomorrow is the first day and uh, this will be the final time before the circuit breaker that we'll get to dine in the establishment, uh, the food court. So I'm now having roti john and uh, roti chanai or roti prata as they call it in Singapore. And they have no chilling meat preparations to actually uh, discourage people from sitting here. So they've actually packed up all the tables and chairs. And as for me, I've wrapped up all my shooting. So hopefully the footage that I have can last me until uh, the so-called uh, lockdown. Uh. In fact, my workplace has already prepared made the preparations. Uh, all of us, most of us actually, has have been preparing to work from home. Bang, nak tanya pendapat abang eh, yang dari kerjaan ni, hmm? dia orang buat circuit breaker eh. ha. Ha, macam mana pendapat abang? Benda pun kenapa tu kadang lambat, patut siang mungkin. Hmm. Eh? Siang kau dia tak, tak kena ni, pasal penyakit ni bukan lekam meriba. Hmm. Bagus-bagusnya siang-siang. Kaunter -siang. dia siang-siang, jangan sidur pulau, jangan apa. Ini hmm. sebaik-baiknya. Tapi manusia ni degil. Ha. Kau boleh jangan sekolah, pulang pun nak guna. Dia connect each other kan, hmm. nak ikut. The thing virus to go to other people. Tapi apa pendapat abang yang tentang kedai kopi ni, kita tak boleh duduk makan lagi? It's very good. Very good lah. Ha, very, I, I deserve it. The human must deserve it. Hmm. Ha, ini cara-cara betul di kerajaan. One you give face and then I will take action. I take advantage. Ha, hmm. Pasal human are very stubborn. Ha, not me, uh, everybody. Human. You see what happened to another country? Hmm. Right? Yelah. Ha? Hmm. You want Singapore to be like that? Well, not right. No, correct. Uh, that's why stop all this nonsense. Don't let them come.